my champion. You're a God who knows how to take a punch. You're a God who knows how to have a cry. Haters keep complaining, calling you a crutch. You just stand there and take it, then lay down and die. Why does the God of all time, past, present, and future, enter our grime and amniotic slime like the rest? Was that the best you could do? You're not one of those typical heroes the big screen shows. They put on a suit to look sleek or cute or fearless or brave like they're ready to save without giving their identity away. The outfit is made with great detail, tailored to protect and emphasize the size of arms and thighs our hero relies on to beat bad guys. The clothier must figure for power and temperature to enable their ability and increase their speed, to flex for agility, anticipate the needs in the the gravest of occasions, but complete humility never gets in the equation for a savior's regalia. Common humanity is not a trait to accentuate in the warrior's wardrobe. So God, why skin as the armor against your enemy? Are you kidding me? Jesus, isn't that the epitome of susceptibility? God didn't grasp for gear or gadgets, no gaudy garments, no gimmicks or gizmos. No, you're not one of those typical heroes drawn by Jack Kirby or Steve Ditko. Rather, some suppose you're like one who goes to Comic-Con with makeup on. Just don a costume because, hey, it's cosplay. And without looking closer, everyone in the room assumes you're also a poser. From the clothes you chose, you're not one of those typical heroes. So when I say that you're holy, I mean there's no one like you, Jesus, but not as the world expects. The greatest of all time is the God of the rejects. You're a God who'd flee from king and country. Your king calls you to come away from crowds because they think you're crazy. You get death threats from next door neighbors with friends and family like these. Please tell me who needs enemies. You're not one of those they raise a toast to. They hosted a banquet but didn't wash your feet. They invited you for dinner but they didn't kiss your cheek. No anointing for your head, lacking common courtesy. But that's the least of the worries for they won't leave you at ease. Here's the rub of being spited. They snub you when you're invited. They don't give a rip. Their lips form a smile but they're burying their teeth. When they treat you like scum yet disagree when others entreat you to come have a seat. They bring the wine to your dinner with a tax man in the center. But Jesus, I see you're willing to take the heat for the harlot washing your feet and for the repo man who reaped the community's infamy through his means of prospering. It didn't alone apply to deity that the insults of those who insulted you have fallen on the capital me. See, you're not one of those they raise a toast to. They called the master a bastard. They said the bringer of freedom was possessed by a demon. But think a bit, that doesn't fit. You were legit, but they wouldn't quit. They just hit you with accusations based on their imaginations. But their rabbit trails and allegations didn't raise your hairs. Their exaggerations and factual errors, ignorant statements didn't leave you chasing. So they wasted their time inquiring for signs and racking their minds to find a crooked in your line and undermine your kingdom's breadth. And when you gave Lazarus new breath, they started plotting his second death and taking steps to have you put to rest. So who are the ones obsessed? Yes, haters saying that you're a drug. So they fixin' to pull the rug out, no doubt You're not one of those they raised a toast to No, they raised a cross, you gave up the ghost So when I say that you're holy I mean there's no one like you But not as the world respects The greatest of all time is the God of the rejects So my friends, stop fighting for front row seating Stop seeking for record beating or top seating to give you meaning The world's approval is fleeting in the race, don't be fast, for the first shall be last, the winners shall be passed, the famous won't be asked to be signing autographs. Hold your life in your grasp and you'll be filling up caskets, unmasked, it's a schism, a decomposing rhythm. Let the wise man not boast in his wisdom, nor the rich man boast in his riches, nor the strong man boast in the inches around his chest or biceps. Entropy will lay all those to rest, the blessed will have an enduring chest. When the king divides spoils among all his loyals And crowns them as royals Lord, come clear the slate I can hardly wait until every mouth will say That you are the greatest That I wasn't crazy, that it wasn't lazy To labor not in vain for the joy that awaits When the saints go marching in See
singing songs like a hymnal But for now, what to do with all this? It should sink in at least subliminal Since you were treated as a criminal and executed That now you would identify with the persecuted But unless you were beat down, how else would they see you rise? You became the least to be the greatest of all time You're taking names for on your roll When it's called up yonder of the people you conquered And there's me, willingly I accept a defeat Then signed up for your team Forget floating like a butterfly and stinging like bees Please, he's not once upon a time But the one and only Who sculpts the mountains and hollows the seas Who silences storms like it's a breeze He speaks and utters eternal decrees Yet put on our form to put us at ease And took on the pain of our sin and disease To plunder the grave and free us from Greece That's Jesus, my King So when I say that you're holy I mean there's no one like you No titles, no trophies, no traditions No degrees, no dynasties or competition Forget once in a generation You were once in a universe The culmination, the beginning and end of my rhyme Jesus you were, Jesus you are And Jesus you forever will be The greatest of all time Trotting. You're the God of the broken hearted. You're the God of the last ones picked. You're the God of the reject.